Hi there. Welcome to the show. Today is another great episode of Easter Project, or I call it 37 Love Stories of God. I have gathered 37 leaders to share that one pivotal moment when they cling to God's voice and carry out the action of what God has asked them to do, then experienced the transformational result. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to let you know, for your convenience, we have put together all the key lessons of these 37 leaders in one downloadable file. So if you'd like to access this file, it's free. Please go to kellybottle.com forward slash Easter 2021. Again, it's kellybottle.com forward slash Easter 2021. Now, let's get to the story. Today, our guest is one of my dear friends, Natasha Hazlett. You will hear behind the scenes story how God has led her to quit her high six-figure corporate job as attorney to start a business of today is a multi-million dollars business. Now, let's get to the conversation. Welcome to the show, my old friend, Natasha. I'm so excited to be here. So, so excited and honored that I get to to be here and share a fun story. It's really like, okay, nowadays, if people go to look at your bios, I mean, we got to put your, all the information in the special show note, but they see you are multi-million heirs, you are multi-million business, everything. Uh, but it's so cool when I went to Facebook, trying to figure out our like first official, our photos on the Facebook. Boy, that was November 2010. I mean, 11 years ago. It's been so long. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was and that was really at the beginning of the uh, of this third journey, I should say, the beginning <laughs> of the third journey. And it's so fun to watch you grow. Yeah. So Natasha, that today that you and your, lo- your lovely husband, that you guys empower people with the clarity, confidence, and strategies to find and fulfill their calling, right? And uh, all the awesome things you have been doing, and I just cannot wait to hear what is that one turning point that you really lean to God and walk out the water, so to speak, and quick, I mean, I mean, you've done a couple of times. I even don't know which one you want to share because I knew when I knew you for the first time, you were a, such an awesome attorney and they told you turn entrepreneur and, and so forth. So let us know, share with us that how is your journey look like when you follow God? So, yeah, you, like you said, there's so many different turning points in our journey, but I wanted to share with, with you and with your audience today the most recent and, and biggest shift. And this started back in 2016. And my husband, Richard, and I, we have built our business together from day one. And I had a brand, we had a brand called Branded 100% Authentic, which I'm sure you remember, Kelly. And that was the business. And that was the brand. It was a multiple six-figure brand. It was the brand that enabled me to quit my full-time job as a lawyer. And so that was, and that was safe and that was secure, but we knew that we were intended to grow bigger. And I remember Richard kept saying, branded isn't it. Like there's something else. And then another dear friend that I know, you know, is a Russell Brunson. He mm-hmm. was like, you know, like y'all are doing good, but like, if you want to get to great, there's something else for you. And I have to tell you that I was so scared Mm. of what would be new, what would be different. This is safe. This is this is great. Like, why are you know, we could be bigger or we could lose it all. And so, you know, obviously the Lord was speaking to me in different ways, like it's time to move. But, you know, even as a Christian CEO, even as a woman of faith, 
you know, you still have these moments where you just want to cling on to the safety of what you know. And so that's what I did for a while. And finally, in January of 2017, I remember Richard and I were in our house in Boise. We're having a mastermind meeting and he and, and we just had a work. I, I decided at that moment I was just going to let it all go. And if there was something new, we were going to decide something new. We had no clue what we were going to do, but it was going to be something new. And I was willing to just walk out in faith. And so we made an important decision. We were trying to decide, were we going to stay in Boise, Idaho, or are we going to move uh, back to Tennessee where all of our family is? And we decided we were going to move back to Tennessee. That was a huge turning point for us. And then, and then it was time to move on. What is our next business? Like, what are we doing? What's the next brand? And that is when the Lord placed on my heart the phrase unstoppable influence. Mm -hmm. And when we heard it from a branding perspective, we're like, that sounds pretty good. So we go to Google, we're checking it out and it's available and it's only $11 and 99 cents. And we're like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. This is amazing. And then we started doubting ourselves. We're like, did we spell it right? Like, how could this only, this is such a good name. How could it be available and only for $12? And so we go and we're like, no, we spelled it correctly. And then I thought, you know, are we crazy? Like, maybe it's not even that great of a name. And we just think it and we're like, no, it's really good. No, it's really good. So we buy the domain name and I start searching in the into Google to see, has anyone else used it? Because I think it's so good. I'm going to want to trademark it. So I Google it. And Kelly, the only things that came up were sermons. That was it. And I said, this is it. This has a spiritual, this has a spiritual bit to it. And this was not, you know, all we were doing was teaching branding and marketing and all of a sudden I'm being led to bring in spirituality and into what we're doing and it gets better. Then we go to 99 designs to get a logo for our, um, for the, for the brand. Mm-hmm. And I didn't tell them anything specific. I told them generally who our audience is and who we wanted to serve, but I didn't really know what unstoppable influence was. I just knew it was a, you know, it was going to be some sort of new brand. Everyone, almost every single designer, they couldn't see what the other was doing, came back with the infinity symbol. I'm like, Mm. what? And as soon as I saw that, Lord just spoke to me and was like, the alpha, I am the alpha and omega. This is it. Like, this is what this is all about. Like, you're going to be bringing, bringing people to God. And so we went on, we went on our way. We're like, okay, this is great. And I'm still thinking, what is unstoppable influence? I still don't know what it is. It sounds like a great name and I have no clue. How does this even relate? Well, that is when the Lord placed on my heart, it's time to write the book. And I know that back in the day when, um, when you wrote your book, I said, you know, someday I'm going to write a book and I've been wanting to write a book and And it was finally time. And so I sat down, I cleared the decks, 30 days, I cleared the decks and I went and out poured in 22 days, the words of unstoppable influence. That's it. 22 days from that. Um, we sold to date, we sold over 15,000 copies of the book. And, um, from that we launched our 21 day challenge. Um, and we have taken off. We've got now we have earned two comic club awards. It's now a multi-million dollar brand, all because we were willing to lean in to God to just say, you know, we don't know. Like we didn't we didn't know what the staircase was going to look like. We didn't know if it was all going to work out, but we truly stepped out in faith and now we have a, a business and a movement that is far beyond my wildest expectations. My goodness. Questions. I know that some of the uh, entrepreneurs and out there, they are listening to this. It's super inspirational and they are about getting fired up, but there are some hidden doubts 
in their mind say, will Natasha then tell us about during the process, during the journey, right? Um, I trust that there are some moments, right? There's at some point you hit challenges and you were like, okay, did I hear that thing right? I mean, were we on the right track? So how did you overcome those moments? You know, I, once again, I would lean into my faith and just know that all is well, that there was no way that I was going to make a wrong decision. I've got to tell you, this was, this experience has truly been the one time in my life where I was willing to 100% walk in faith. Mm -hmm. And every single time I would feel scared. I would feel the fear. It's natural. It's a human experience but it is a choice as to whether I'm going to allow that fear, that unknown to stop me or to fuel me. And I allowed, I allowed it to fuel me. Just know that just because you have doubts, just because you're scared, doesn't mean that you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. That's when you get the opportunity to use faith. If it's not faith, if you know the outcome, it's not faith. If you know, if it's a surefire thing, or if you don't care one way or another, it's faith when you have no clue. It seems like no net, but there really is a net, right? Yeah, so true. So what is the departing wisdom for those entrepreneurs? So actually, I know a lot of corporate leaders are listening to my podcast that they are about to transit because they feel that call that they need to start in the business mountain to finally, you know, leave the boat and then to create that impactful business. What would you say to them? I want to share with you that there are people that you don't even know yet that are counting on you to succeed. This is something, this is a concept I learned from Mark Hoverson. I know you, you remember Mark Hoverson, um, he, he passed away. Um, and this is so true. I had no clue how many people were thirsting for the insight that I had that was divinely inspired to give to them. And we are used as a vessel for to to share things that the Lord puts on our hearts that other people need to hear that sometimes they're not going to hear his promptings. They need to hear it through your mouth. (laughs) They need (laughs) you to say it. They need you to show up and to show up big for them. And so that's the thing that if if nothing else, understand that you're doing this for other people. I could not my mind is blown at the number of people that have come up to me and said, your book literally changed my life. And I'm just so grateful that I got out of my own way and my own selfishness and worries about how is it going to look? Is it going to be good? Are people going to like it? And I got out of my own way and I accepted my role as the vessel to share a message. And there are people that are waiting on you. So don't keep them waiting any longer. Cannot rip up this episode. <laughs> Even better at all. Don't let them wait on you. So thank you so much, Natasha, for today, your precious time. And boy, I, I cannot wait that we somehow can sit down somewhere, have that in-person coffee again. Yes, I can't wait. How did you enjoy the conversation? We sincerely hope that it will encourage you and inspire you to finally take the action of what God has called you to do in this season. We cannot wait to see what you can co-create with the Lord for your business. And just a reminder, if you'd like to access to that free resource, all the key lessons from these 37 leaders, please go to kellybarder.com forward slash Easter 2021. Can I also ask a little favor? Would you please make sure you subscribe to both our YouTube channel and also our podcast? For podcast platforms, pretty much wherever you listen to your podcast, especially iTunes or they call Apple Podcasts nowadays, and Spotify, also Amazon Music. Even better, if you can share with fellow entrepreneurs, Christian leaders, that would be awesome. 
because the whole focus of this podcast is to put Jesus in the center of business. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video. And please share the videos with your friends so we can help more Christian entrepreneurs to rise up in the marketplace.